There's no doubt that Alexander Skarsgård is a captivating celebrity. Since starting his career as a child actor in his native Sweden, he has built a hugely successful internationally acclaimed career in both film and TV. He is best known as vampire Eric Northman on the HBO series True Blood, the title character in The Legend of Tarzan, Brad Colbert in the HBO miniseries Generation Kill, and Perry Wright in the HBO series Big Little Lies, for which he won a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Limited Series or Movie. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Alexander Skarsgård. Acting runs in his blood. When it comes to the Skarsgård family, Alexander Skarsgård is the most recognizable nowadays. However, his dad is Stellan Skarsgård, an actor who's done a ton of Swedish theater, art house movies, and Mamma Mia. You may have seen his brother Gustav on Westworld and Vikings, while Bill played Pennywise in 2019's It, and also appeared on shows like Hemlock Grove and Castle Rock. He almost quit acting. Skarsgård got his first big role as a child in a Sweden TV movie called The Dog That Smiled. He got so much attention from the role and realized child stardom wasn't for him, and he decided to quit acting. He told The Telegraph, I wasn't like a Hollywood child actor, I'm five, I can sing, I can dance, I can act, I wanna be a star, the movie I did was because the director was a friend of my dad's. I told my parents, I don't want to do this anymore. My dad said, you have to love it, if you don't feel that way, do the other thing, whatever it is. After seven years away from acting, he finally started considering it again. In 1997, he moved to New York City and attended Marymount Manhattan College, where he took theater courses. He joined the Swedish military. After he decided to quit acting, Skarsgård saw a chance to live a more normal life by enrolling in the Swedish military. He did so at the age of 19. He served in the military for 18 months in the Stockholm archipelago, a large chain of islands off the coast of Sweden. When he left, he got back into his studies in London. He played a male model in Zoolander. If you ever find yourself re-watching Zoolander, you'll probably have one of those oh my god is that who I think it is moments when Alexander Skarsgård comes on the screen. Although much younger and leaner than we're used to seeing him, there's no mistaking the tall Swedish hunk. Skarsgård plays Mikas, one of Derek Zoolander's three air-headed model friends. His big break was in Generation Kill. The actor's big break came when he was cast as Sergeant Brad Iceman Colbert in the critically acclaimed HBO miniseries Generation Kill. It followed young Marines as they led the offensive in Baghdad during the first few weeks of the Iraq War. The part of Brad Colbert was the closest to a lead in Generation Kill, and director Susanna White and executive producer David Simon at first disagreed about casting Skarsgård. White wanted to cast him, but Simon was not convinced he could pull off the American accent. After four auditions in three cities, Skarsgård learned the part was his just 36 hours before he had to board a plane for Namibia where the project was filming. He was originally unsure to play a vampire. As Eric Northman, Skarsgård was True Blood's most valuable vampire. However, at first he was unsure about playing a vampire, but when he learned that Alan Ball, creator of the HBO series Six Feet Under and Academy Award-winning screenwriter of American Beauty, was behind the project, he sent in an audition tape. The audition was for the role of Bill Compton, which eventually went to Stephen Moyer and Skarsgård got the role of Eric Northman. He thought he lost the Tarzan role because of a video. One of Skarsgård's less proud moments happened in Stockholm when he turned up to a Hammarby football match heavily intoxicated. As any hardcore fan after a few too many would, he started chanting to the crowd, trying to get them to join in. As is the way of the world today, someone filmed the incident and put it on YouTube. Not only was he completely embarrassed, he thought the incident might actually lose him the role of Tarzan he had recently gotten. Interestingly enough, the video ended up solidifying him in the role even more. He recalled, Warner Brothers had said they needed someone primal and animalistic, so my agent sent them the video, saying, isn't this guy primal enough for you? It didn't end there, another person who saw the clip was writer-director John Michael McDonough. The video inspired him to cast Skarsgård in the film War on Everyone. He joked about this strange turn of events, saying, the moral of the story is, make a fool of yourself and people will love you. Remember that, kids. He could have played Thor. Marvel fans may have trouble imagining Thor played by anyone other than Chris Hemsworth, but apparently, Skarsgård was pretty darn close to getting the role. He tried on the costume, held the hammer, and even filmed an audition in the garb. He was awarded an honorary degree from Leeds Beckett University. 
Despite dropping out of Leeds Beckett University after only six months of study, Skarsgård still managed to wangle a degree out of the university, even if it took him over 15 years to do so. In July 2017, the British institution recognized their former students' contributions to entertainment with an honorary degree. Skarsgård was clearly delighted with the accolade, telling the Yorkshire Post, I am delighted to receive this award today and am honored to be back here in Leeds. I received great support here 14 years ago when I was studying a language course and great support from the university when I decided to reignite my passion for acting. His tattoo was drawn by his brother Walter. The Skarsgård brothers definitely don't flaunt their family for show, they are the real deal. They have big love for each other, so much so that Alex decided to get his younger brother's drawing tattooed on his leg. When his younger brother Walter was only 7 years old, he drew a bird on Alex's leg in green marker. Alex decided to take a picture of it and ended up getting it tattooed onto the exact spot. He remembers waiting to show off the tattoo for almost two years and the hilarious reaction he got from nine-year-old Walter. He said, I wanted to show it, it was maybe two years later, I had worked up such, I mean it's a big thing to tattoo a beautiful picture that your brother drew as a child, so I thought he'd be delighted as hell. He was like, what's that? Why did you do it? What, did I draw that? Wanna eat pancakes now? Then again, he was only nine. 